Not that the battery shut down, this should be safe to do. Wish me luck. <laughs> How's it going everyone? You're watching the Green Dream Project. Jim here and taking a little break from the carport project and I'm over here working on the solar. I know, I thought it was done too, but it's not. One more, there's another thing. I was doing some reading on some of the, on some of the instructional booklets and then I came across a battery temperature sensor. Apparently, these inverters can monitor the temperature of the batteries, that way, it doesn't, that way it doesn't draw too much energy from them when it's cold and it doesn't overcharge the batteries when it's hot. I've already had some pretty extreme temperatures so I'm hoping that didn't mess with the batteries at all. But it actually comes with the cord to monitor that uh, temperature. So what I'm going to do then is now add this final little piece so that the uh, inverters can monitor that battery temperature. That way it keeps the batteries healthier longer. What's up? So as you can see, I removed the cover from this already to give me access to the battery temperature sensor port. Otherwise, the cover would look a lot like this one over here. But now, since I have to mess with the batteries, you know, these things contain a fairly high energy output. So I'm gonna wanna shut off the flow of energy to the batteries and from the batteries before beginning this. But I don't think it'll take too long. So first off, I'm going to shut off the power flow going away from the batteries. Over here are the breakers for the RVs. I'm just going to shut these off. I'm going to shut off the two breakers going to the main panel. And then I'm also going to shut off the DC power going to the batteries. Now that there shouldn't be a draw, I'm going to hook up the wire and run that down to the batteries. So I'm just going to fish this through the port that I have down here already. No sense removing another knockout. There's plenty of room for both these cords to go through here. BTS port right over here. Now the instructions say that it needs to be attached to a negative terminal of the battery. But since these are wired up in series, I'm gonna attach it all the way down to the bottom one. Just a side note, technically you don't actually have to attach it to the negative terminal. It does have a little sticky back that you can actually attach to the battery. That would make it a lot simpler, but for more accuracy, it's better to get it onto the terminal. Not that the battery shut down, this should be safe to do. Wish me luck. <laughs> and always as a precaution, it's probably best to wear gloves when working with batteries. And so now I'm just gonna take the post, put it through the sensor, and through the wire. Set. I'm going to pull the excess wiring into the container, into the box here. <laughs> so I'm going to use this to tie up this wire so it's not all tangly like that. And then I should be ready to turn the power back on. Alright, so now that we're hooked up, got that in place, got that in place. Let's power these babies back up. Now it's humming along. We should be back in business. I'm just gonna tidy this up and I'll bring it right back. Okay, so now the wire's hooked up. I got it, I got the wire inside here. Got the cord inside here tied. Got the cover back on. And this project is done, but we'll hold up, you're saying. Okay, now you attach that wire. How do we know it's working? That's a good question. I wanna hook this up. Let's see if it's reading the battery temperature currently. So I'm bringing you over here. This is the system performance screen. And you can see 
the battery here it's finally reading a temperature 10 degrees Celsius which is about 50 degrees Fahrenheit which is pretty accurate as to what the ambient temperature is all right so we'll call this one a success another project done and in the bag now we can monitor the battery temperature which is going to be an amazing help in keeping these batteries healthy so thanks a lot for joining us if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up definitely subscribe if you haven't done so already share this video with a friend or two because they might want to be able to monitor their batteries as well all right and as always you can follow us on facebook instagram and twitter all right thanks a lot everyone bye